Right, I've been asked to fix this door and quite often I get asked to plane a bit off the edge or move the lock because it's not catching and that's not always the case. Quite often it's just the hinges that have either come loose or the worn. These ones I can tell the worn because they're stepped, you know, either the pin or the actual pieces, the knuckles have worn. One way you can tell as well is you open it, it's a bit difficult to tell, but there's a little bit of movement there. And putting new hinges on will pull that door over. This one down here doesn't seem too bad, that seems alright. That one's not too bad, so it could be just the top one, but I'll replace those two. That should pull the door up and see what it's like then. It says the catch isn't catching, but that seems to work. And it's catching just on the bottom there. I can't show you, but when I lifted that, you know, push the hinge back, it swings okay. Right, so I bought some very basic hinges. They're very similar to what's already on. Same size. What I want to do first is look at that gap and just open it. Look at that gap between the two leaves. Compare it to the gap that's there. It's a little smaller, so when I pull this on, it should pull that. It should pull that door over. Bought a new tie as well. See how it does on these painted screws. Apparently the the reviews on this were <laughs> were the worst, but it suits my batteries, and I like the fact that it's got a half inch drive on the end for sockets. So, what I'm going to do is take, don't noisy these things, I'm going to take all but one out, I'm just going to leave that one, they're loose, I'm going to take these ones off. Get in there, they're painted up. Right. Right, so they came out. I used a nail and I just hit the centre of the screw and that sort of makes the paint mushroom out either way. And then you can fish it out. Uh, I left that screw in, just loose like that. I've got the last one to get out of here. When I take this one out, the door will drop, but it won't fall off its hinges. Because first thing I want to do is see if I can fix it without taking it off. So, it's come away there now. So I'll wriggle that. Get that old hinge out. I'll swap it, get a new one in, and I'll be able to put a couple of screws in it so that it's loose and fish this one out. Right, this screw was totally knackered, look. I thought, oh no, that one's in there. But, shiny new tool, got it out, just gently, little squeezes. Cool. Sometimes I'm happy when I spend loads of money. Right, that one's loose, need to wriggle that out, that one's semi in, like I say it's loose so that I can get this one out. Uh, the screws that came with a hinge, I should have done what I normally do and just throw them away because they're shite. So I've started swapping them for screw type, the gold, but it doesn't really matter. I'll get some more in here, 
So I've stripped the head, just putting them in, just putting them into the old holes, like a crap. And I get some more screws in. Alright, so just for the moment, I've left them in. I'll probably change them. Because I suspect I am actually taking this door off, because the gap on the top, and I can actually see that it's sloping. So I suspect I'm going to be taking this door off and planing some off anyway. Removing some off the bottom, so just see how that is first. That's better. It's touching up there though. That gap's fairly parallel, but it's touching there, so... Is it paint or is it the door? It's got, it's plain that way there, but when it gets up here, it, it turns in like that. So this bit needs planing off. Might just get me chiselling there. So I just chiselled a bit off there. I'm going to have to take these screws out because I've got to adjust it again. So I'll take this hinge off, let the door just drop a little bit, and then I can plane that, get me plane up there when the door drops. I'll take that one off as well, so that it drops. But the problem I've got now is those hinges went in where they were, but it's binding down here now. So there's a little gap there, but it's binding on here, pretty much all the way down. Not so bad at the bottom. You see, it's it's springing because it's binding on there what I need to do, loosen these hinges, let it drop, put the screws back in so that there's, a, there's going to be a little gap here but it'll bring the door off there. Right, you can see I left that screw in so the hinge has dropped. All these screws are out apart from that one. I'll tear that one out. don't think it's doing anything. But that hinge doesn't move much. So what I'll do is put these two in, two screws in. These ones nearest the knuckle, because then it'll pull it in. And I can take that one out. And this one, I think I'll do the same to the bottom one. Take that hinge off, move it over, put screws in, and I'll move these out. So like I say, I'll put that screw in there. So those two are in. That one can all come out. It dropped just a fraction there. But I can get some more in here. And that'll hold down. And I'll push the bottom one out. Moving that one over, it's moved it over just a fraction. So all the screws are back in. So it goes now. That's good. There's maybe just enough gap there. Might plane a bit more off there. No, there's a little bit of clearance there. It's still a bit tight at the top there, but most of the way down it's okay. I might drop it off just a little bit more at the top. The door works. See how the lock goes now. 
It's fine to me, that. Yeah. So I'm just going to drop this engine back a bit. Like I say, it's a bit tight on the top there. So. Full of screws. See the hinge just dropped again. So what I'll do is the same again. Put another screw in there and there. There. Take this one out. Reposition it. All right. So that gaps. That gaps quite good now. And I've just took those two screws out. Put them in at an angle. It just pulls the latch in a little bit. So. Not so much play in the door. So that's it, that's me done. And the rendering on the side there on the patio doors is waiting for better weather. Keeps pissing it down. So, basically what I started to say at the beginning was check your hinges before you start planing your doors. I was going to show you how to plane the bottom by hand, but there's just enough gap there. If it starts sticking again I'll have to take it off and cut some off. The gap at the tops, not bad now. I didn't change that one because it's under compression, the door's pushing on it that way, and that gap's okay. It was these two that the door was hanging on that was the problem. So, yeah, check your hinges before you start messing with this side of the door.